On Apple Valley News Now, the city of Ellensburg issuing an apology after it says the council became the target of hate speech during a meeting. Plus, we're tracking local election results tonight, an in-depth look at races in Yakima County. And brace yourself, things are about to get very blustery in eastern Washington. We have a wind advisory in effect for tomorrow. I'm tracking all of that in your first alert weather forecast. This is Apple Valley News Now at 5 on your side. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Alyssa Warner. We start tonight with a situation out of Kittitas County. The city of Ellensburg is issuing an apology after they say their November 6th city council meeting was, quote, the target of hate speech by online participants using fake names, end of quote. During the public comment section, the council asked people in attendance if anyone would like to speak to the council on issues that were not on the agenda. For about 10 minutes, people attending the council meeting over Zoom spoke using racial slurs, demanding the council take a stance on Israel and promoting white supremacy. At one point, one of the speakers, when told by members of the council he was out of line, admitted he was using hate speech, but quote, hate speech is free speech, end quote. The city of Ellensburg released an apology on its social media page saying it was sorry to any member of our community who felt uncomfortable, upset, or threatened by the incident. Adding, we draw a clear line when it comes to hate speech and discrimination. Such behavior is not and will never be tolerated in Ellensburg. Tonight on Apple Valley News Now at 6, we'll hear more about what city councils can do to keep this from happening during a public meeting and what the city of Ellensburg says about questions being raised by the public about why the council allowed these comments to go on for so long before shutting them down. Now, several races in Yakima County, very close to call. Others look to be taking in a possible victory. Emily Goodell has the details. In Yakima County, the biggest changes this election brought are in the Natchez City Council, Sunnyside City Council, and the West Valley School Board. The Natchez City Council will have a new mayor and three new city council members. The Sunnyside City Council will have four new council members, and the West Valley School Board will have three new board members. There's also three new members on the Yakima City Council, and, and Grandview, Granger, and Sela are all getting a new mayor and two new council members each. As the auditor told me on election day, there were a lot of write-in candidates. None won this election, but they did gain traction in Mabton, with write-in candidates getting more than 42% of the votes for position four and more than 45% for position five. There's still about 25 ballots left to count in Yakima County, but proving that your vote does make a difference, especially in smaller elections, some of these races are coming down to just a handful of votes. Two votes separate candidates for Natchez City Council position Position 5, 8 votes for the Wapato mayor race, and, and 13 votes separating candidates in the race for Mobton City Council Position 3 and in the race for Position 5. The bond put forward by the Union Gap School District needed a 60% supermajority to go forward, but at 187 out of 323 votes, they only got up to 57%. However, if just seven of those no votes had been yeses, it would have passed. Voters did approve a different bond through a supermajority, an $18 million bond for fire station renovations and needed improvements at Yakima County Fire District 5 which has fire stations that were built back in the 1950s. We'll continue to keep you updated on election results on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. Reporting in Yakima County, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. And as Emily mentioned, we have dedicated a section of our website to all of the election results in our area. You can find them, again, on applevalleynewsnow.com. Suspicious mail containing a white powder was sent to at least four elections offices in Washington state. We were one of at least five states to receive such mail, and some of those envelopes contained fentanyl. New tonight, we've learned Snohomish County elections also received suspicious mail, similar to the pieces received by four other municipalities in Washington state. White powder sent to Spokane County elections tested positive for fentanyl. The suspicious mail delayed ballot counting in some races and threatened the safety of elections workers. ABC's Melissa Adon has the latest from Los Angeles. The FBI is trying to find out who was responsible for sending suspicious envelopes to several election offices across the country. At least five states, Washington, Oregon, California, Nevada, and Georgia, reporting that letters inside white envelopes were discovered with the white powdery substance. 
The FBI says at least four envelopes tested positive for the potentially deadly substance fentanyl, while in other envelopes, baking powder was detected. This was an attempt not only to terrorize the people that work in this building, but also to disrupt the democratic process. And that's reprehensible on so many levels. In Oregon, election officials temporarily halted the ballot counting amid the discovery. State officials in Nevada and California say their election offices also intercepted a suspicious letter. One headed to the Sacramento County Department of Voter Registration and Elections following the batch sent to Georgia and Washington State. We're going into a presidential election. Uh, things are only going to get crazier, possibly, hopefully not. ABC News obtaining a copy of one of the letters calling to, quote, end elections now. We are in charge now and there is no more need for them. In Georgia, officials equipping election workers with Narcan as authorities work to intercept the suspicious envelope addressed to Fulton County. There are some crazy people out there who will go to any extreme to disrupt, interrupt, fair, open, transparent elections in our country. Officials say no one was injured from the envelope. That was ABC's Melissa Don reporting. Now the FBI and the U.S. Postal Inspection Service are investigating whether the letters all came from the same place or if it was some kind of coordinated effort. A couple charged in the death of an eight-year-old boy have been extradited from Mexico to eastern Washington. U.S. Marshals arrested the couple in Mexico last March. Edgar Salvador Cassian Garcia and his girlfriend, Araceli Medina, stand charged in Franklin County with aggravated murder of a child, rape in first degree of another child, three counts of assault of a child in the first degree. Apple Valley News now first learned of a missing person investigation regarding eight-year-old Edgar Cassian Jr., who had not been seen since September of 2020. The following February, hikers found the body of a child in Benton County that was later identified as Edgar Cassian Jr. Let's switch gears here and talk about your forecast. We've seen just kind of a roller coaster the past couple of days. Stacy Lee has a look at what to expect for your weekend. And the ride continues. We've got a wind advisory now in place uh, beginning tomorrow at 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. All eastern Washington pretty much from the top to the bottom into uh, eastern Oregon. We're looking at sustained winds 30 to 40 miles an hour and we could see gusts 50 to 55 plus miles an hour. These are damaging winds that could bring down trees and tree branches and cause disruption in electricity. So again, be aware of that tomorrow all through the region. We're also tracking some light showers tonight in the Yakima Valley. You see right there just about Yakima uh, uh, east or excuse me, west of Sunnyside and we'll continue to track some showers overnight. 52 degrees in our Legends Casino Skycam. Our uh, winds are light here at eight miles per hour. Sunset at 430. So here's what's ahead again. Look for those scattered showers this evening. That windy gusty winds. We're going to see winds probably between 30 and 45 miles an hour throughout the day. A chance of showers coming through some areas on Saturday. Plus, we're going to see mountain snow, wintry mix to uh, snow in the Cascades all weekend long. You'll want to check those pass reports if you're traveling across our mountain passes. So lots to get to in your first alert full weather forecast. Alyssa. Thanks, Stacy. The Nation observed Veterans Day today. It's a time to remember all those who have served their country. People gathered for a special Veterans Day event in Kennewick in the parking lot of the Texas Roadhouse restaurant near Columbia Center Mall this morning. Motorcycle enthusiasts with American flags and POW MIA flags on them. We also saw members of the Patriot Guard Riders. And according to the group's website, the volunteer group was founded in 2005 to protect the families of fallen service members from those who might disrupt services for their loved ones. If you're looking for a way to honor Veterans Day this Saturday, the McAllister Museum of Aviation in Yakima is hosting its annual Veterans Day Open House. The museum has one of the largest collections of general and military memorabilia in central Washington. There are photos, medals, ribbons, and historical backgrounds. The displays tell the stories of local aviators and military pilots. That open house will be from 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. tomorrow. Admission is $5 for adults. Kids get in free. A Veterans Day parade is coming up tomorrow morning in West Richland. These are pictures from last year's event. This is, again, a chance to come out and show your appreciation of those who have served our country. The parade begins Saturday morning at 930. And the city of Yakima is asking all of its residents to observe a moment of silence on Saturday to honor veterans. On November 5th of 2019, the city approved a proclamation to recognize and honor the commitment of our veterans by taking one minute of silence at 11 a.m. on Saturday. Whether you're at home, work, in a parade, at a shopping event, sporting event, or even shopping, 
The Yakima Rotary Cl Club asks you to simply stand in silence for one minute and honor those who have served our country. Veterans can often face unique mental health challenges, and in fact, more than 3 million veterans experienced mental illness in 2021. That's according to a national survey on drug use and health. Data shows nearly half of those veterans did not seek treatment. We often find that veterans will not necessarily say out loud that they're having thoughts about suicide. They may have these other sort of coded statements that would indicate um, that things aren't going really well. Now you can make a difference by showing support for veterans. Reach out to service members you know, exercise with them, take up a hobby together, or just engage socially. Experts say that can help by establishing a connection and improve mood and psychological well-being. A natural gas line breach wreaked havoc for communities all along the Palouse. Now that line has been repaired. We have an update next. Plus, a wind advisory for eastern Washington. Snow expected in the Cascades. Stacy Lee is tracking all of the latest developments coming up in your first alert forecast. And a local partnership receiving state recognition for recent improvements made on Clover Island. That and more coming up on Apple Valley News Now. I met Anitas 10 years ago when he first came to New America. He didn't have bad credit, but he just had no credit to begin with. I took the time to really go over some options with him and figure out what steps he needed to take in order for him to build that positive credit to the point where, fast forward 10 years down the road, he's got his business account with New America, he's got his personal accounts with New America, um, and he's looking to buy a second home also with New America. That was a sense of fulfillment for me in saying, hey, I helped him get through these steps. We're still going for that nice catch. We're still going for that sweet shot. And with higher stroke risk from AFib not caused by a heart valve problem, we're going for a better treatment than warfarin, Eliquis. Eliquis reduces stroke risk and has less major bleeding. Over 97% of Eliquis patients did not experience a stroke. Don't stop taking Eliquis without talking to your doctor as this may increase your risk of stroke. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve or abnormal bleeding. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. Get help right away for unexpected bleeding or unusual bruising. It may increase your bleeding risk if you take certain medicines. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. The number one cardiologist prescribed blood thinner. We're going for it. Ask your doctor about Eliquis. At U.S. Cellular, anyone can get any phone free. So give yourself a free phone. She's here. Then give yourself the gift of not checking it. The gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. New and current customers get any phone free. My favorite holiday. It means so much more than words can say. And I claim Christmas is a magic day. Sometimes I tend to forget what glory this holiday represents. But it's fair to say the Christmas is a magic day. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Welcome back. The IRS has released new tax brackets for next year. Now, the brackets illustrate how much taxpayers will owe on each part of their taxable income. Due to inflation, the agency boosted income thresholds for each bracket. So good news, you might be in a lower tax bracket next year. This means some taxpayers could benefit. The changes will apply to returns filed, though, in 2025. The standard deduction for both those filing jointly and those filing singly will also increase. The alternative minimum tax and other provisions have also changed.
A partnership led by the Port of Kennewick is now getting state recognition for progress on Clover Island. Over the past couple of decades, the port has worked with the Confederated Tribes of the Umatilla Indian Reservation, the Army Corps of Engineers, the State Recreation and Conservation Office, the county, and the city to stabilize the shoreline of Clover Island and to create a riverfront destination. Back in the day, people were like, why, what? You're building a lighthouse? We're not calling ships from sea, but it created an, an iconic element that people were like, oh, meet me at the lighthouse. Let's go walk, let's bike that trail. It was an element of interest in this end of town that had not had an investment for a long time. And the lighthouse is used for navigation on the river. The deputy CEO of the Port of Kennewick says the process took a lot of long-term planning, some improvements that you might not realize you're seeing when you visit. We'll talk more about that coming up on Apple Valley News Now at 6.30. Now to a follow-up on that broken natural gas line that forced a state of emergency in Pullman, closed schools, offices, and left tens of thousands of people without heat along the Palouse. The company that owns the gas line says it has now been repaired. According to Avista, the utility company, over 36,000 customers were impacted. Avista plans to begin the relighting process today. The Kennewick Parks and Recreation is hosting its 32nd annual Harvest Bazaar today and tomorrow. More than 90 vendors from across the Northwest will fill the Numerica Pavilion at the Southridge Sports and Events Complex. Now this promises to have something for everyone and an easy way to get started on your holiday shopping. They'll have one of a kind items, personalized gifts, treats and homemade housewares. You can also bring your kids along. They can go on a gnome hunt. If they catch Norbert the gnome, they get to pick a prize from his treasure chest. So admission is $5 a day, parking and kids and 12 and under are free. Both Washington State University and the University of Washington's football teams are in action this weekend. The Cougs face the California Golden Bears at Cal tomorrow with a 1 p.m. kickoff. In Seattle, the Huskies host the Utah Utes with a 12.30 kickoff. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Stacy Lee. We have a lot going on in the weather. The main story for the weekend, or at least through tomorrow, is this wind advisory. High gusty winds, strong gusty winds all through the region. Anywhere from 30 to 40 miles an hour with gusts that could be 50 to 55 or even more so. So again, we want to keep an eye on that. We'll watch out for down trees, limbs, and possibly some power outages. Let's take a look at future casts. Here's when those winds really start to pick up. It'll probably wake you up as they often do me in the morning, 5 a.m. That's when we start seeing those gusty winds in the Columbia Basin Tri-Cities. Uh, we'll see those gusty winds continue to build throughout the day. Very windy along the foothills of the Blues, but uh, the concentration of those winds, Columbia Basin, Eastern Oregon, and again, it's that southwesterly flow, mainly a westerly flow of winds. It'll be breezy to gusty in the Yakima Valley, but again, the strongest winds in the Columbia Basin, and those will continue throughout the day. We'll see those start to die down late Saturday night into early Sunday morning. Things are looking much calmer for us on Sunday. Sunday as far as wind goes. Let's take a look at our Skywatch radar. Tonight we're seeing some uh, some showers coming through the Yakima Valley into Toppenish. Again, light showers this evening. They're going to kind of be hit or miss. Here's the weather pattern for the next uh, few days. Here comes those showers across the top. This is the snow we're watching uh, on Saturday, mostly the northern Cascades. However, we could see some rain mix with snow coming across the lower portion of the Cascades. Rain showers developing and then as we get into Sunday, you'll see another other band. Here's that setup of moisture mainly on the west side, but we are going to continue to pick up snow and showers through the Cascade Mountains. Here's our future cast with our cloudy skies tonight. Again, these showers developing kind of hit or miss. Yakima Sunnyside might skip right on by the Columbia Basin Tri Cities, but move on to the north. Here's the snow showers we're talking about overnight across the Cascades. There's I 90. We see mixed precip there. So you'll want to check those mountain pass report uh, reports before you hit the road and just be prepared for winter driving conditions. It's not looking too bad, although we could see anywhere from one to four inches of accumulation, especially in those upper elevations above 5,000 feet. Here's what we're looking like on Saturday morning. This is when we'll see those strong gusty winds with hit or miss showers through the Columbia Basin. More than likely, we'll see those showers in Walla Walla by mid afternoon. And again, we'll continue to see those snow showers and mixed precip in the Cascade Mountains. Other than that, we'll see those cloudy skies until that 
next system gets ready to move in off the coast. There's the west side of the, of the state getting wet and those uh, showers will continue to move towards our direction. Dust Devil Sky Cam 52 degrees tonight with clear sky so far. A little cloudy out there. Scattered showers possible tonight. Temperatures way above the freezing level. That's good. We're in the 30s and 40s all through the area. For tomorrow, look at temperatures warming up even more as we'll see those 60s come back to the Columbia Basin. Upper 50s for the foothills of the Blues and the upper 50s in the Yakima and Kittitas Valley. Here's what your seven day planning forecast looks like. Look at those sh uh, showers uh, possible on Saturday in Yakima. A little overcast and cloudy for several days with a slight chance of showers moving into next week. Looks like we'll be overcast in the Columbia Basin with a chance of showers headed our way mid next week as well. And in Walla Walla, we could see those showers about midday with cloudy skies moving into the first part of next week. So lots more to talk about as I get more weather on the way. We've got uh, all that back to you, Alyssa. Thanks, Stacey. And coming up next on Apple Valley News Now at 5, some interesting results for anybody considering an espresso martini. Find out what happened when UW researchers mixed alcohol and caffeine and then examined the impact it has on sleep. That's next on Apple Valley News Now. This newscast sponsored by Nissan. Tonight, the attacks on American troops by Iranian-backed groups in Syria and Iraq. Plus, as tensions soar, the plan for a daily pause in Gaza. Will it hold? More Americans turn to the most watched program on television. World News Tonight with David Muir. An accident can shatter your life. The award-winning team at Tamaki Law can put your life back together. I'm attorney Brian Smith. And I'm attorney Megan Hale. Thank you for voting us Yakima's first choice for personal injury, civil law, and best overall law firm. We are honored and grateful to be part of this amazing community. If you've been seriously injured, call Tamaki Law and get your life back. Ooh, the DQ Cheeseburger Lover's Deal is back. Two single cheeseburgers for only five bucks? Or two double cheeseburgers for just seven bucks? For real? Oh, tell me it's as good as it looks. Deal this good speaks for itself, I guess. But you better get it before it's gone. DQ, happy tastes good. Now's the time to get a great deal on select Kubota equipment. Part of the number one rated tractor brand for durability and owner experience in the U.S., they offer the versatility and reliability to get the job done right, all year round. Right now at participating dealers, get a Kubota compact tractor for zero down, 0% 0 APR for 84 months, plus save up to $800. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. Vegas action is closer than you think. The fun is waiting for you at Knob Hill Casino. Come in and pull up a chair at your choice of blackjack, pie gal, heads up hold'em, or high card flush, and play with the friendliest dealers in town. Join our players club to take your game to the next level and earn rewards for food, bowling, prizes, and cash. There's always a spot for you at Knob Hill Casino where the locals play. Whether you celebrate mistletoe magic in a Cadillac XT5, festive gatherings in a Cadillac XT4, or reinventing traditions in a Cadillac XT6, this holiday season, Cadillac is celebrating you. Get 2.9% APR for 36 months plus 2,000 purchase allowance on a 2024 XT5 and XT6 when you finance through Cadillac Financial. Welcome back. It's no secret that alcohol and caffeine can each individually negatively impact your sleep. The University of Washington School of Medicine researchers decided to mix them to see what would happen. Now, what they found at first was surprising. Researchers thought that mixing alcohol and caffeine would negatively impact sleep, but they said it actually offset the negative impact on quality or quantity. 
Over time, though, researchers found that mixing alcohol and caffeine did eventually break down people's quality of sleep. So don't do it on the regular. Now here's a preview of what's ahead in about five minutes on World News Tonight with David Muir. Tonight, the attacks on American troops by Iranian-backed groups in Syria and Iraq. Plus, as tensions soar, the plan for a daily pause in Gaza. Will it hold? More Americans turn to the most watched program on television. World News Tonight with David Muir. Portions of Apple Valley News Now, sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. If something's missing in your morning without a McDonald's breakfast, then try a new bagel sandwich. With fluffy egg, melty cheese, and your choice of a steak patty with grilled onion, or bacon, or sausage, well, those will fill the void deliciously. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Did you see this? It says most people are going to need long-term care that health insurance and Medicare won't cover. I saw that, and it got me thinking, if I need to pay for home modifications or in-home care, I am not prepared. Are you? Not really. I mean, whatever happens, I just want to know that I'll be able to get care and stay in my own home as I age. Right? I want that, too. So, uh... Find out how the WA Cares Fund can help. Okay, thanks for visiting. Bye, Alice. Eh, I'm stuck. Not funny anymore. <laughs> yes, it is. Wait, guys. The Mesozoic times are boring and have zero rat attractions. Triple play is fun. I want to stay here. Of course you can stay. Oh, fantastic. We won't regret this. Triple play has fun attractions for everyone, like bowling, Raptor Reef Indoor Water Park, and a brand new zip line ride, all attached to a cozy hotel. She's on the logo already. Marketers are the worst. When you need legal help, trust Quantum Legal. In football, your team can have a bad season. In real life, when you are having a bad season, you can call Quantum Legal. We're here for you in times of trouble. Whether you need assistance with criminal defense, personal injury, or have been injured on the job. And with tens of millions of dollars collected on behalf of clients, we will find the best solution for your situation. Call us today at 509-783-5551 or visit us online at quantumlegal.com. Now is the time for a new bath from Bathfitter. Every Bathfitter bath is installed quickly, safely, and beautifully with a lifetime warranty. Go from old to new, from worn to wow. The beautiful bath you've always wanted, done right, installed by one expert technician, all in one day. We've been creating moments like these for 35 years, and we're here to help you get started. Book your free virtual or in-home design consultation today. At West Richland Family Dental and Prime Dental Pasco, we want to remind you, your oral health is important. We know that life can get busy. Don't let your family's oral health take a back seat. At West Richland Family Dental and Prime Dental Pasco, we offer extended hours. That's right, we are open from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, plus Saturdays for when the week gets to be too full. We want you to smile healthy and live happy. Find us at one of our two locations, West Richland Family Dental and Prime Dental Pasco. Stunning smiles for the whole family. I think they like each other. <laughs> I'm Charles. Lunch? Vanessa, I like lunch. Give in to deliciousness. Buy one craveable classic and get another one for a buck. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Welcome back. We're taking a final look at your forecast. Stacy. I saw lots of overcast skies today, but no actual rain. Right, and we had light rain last night. Let's take a look at your planning forecast for tomorrow. Could see some showers in the morning in Yakima. Tri-City is probably going to skip us, but we get all the wind. Oh, yay. <laughs> and then Walla Walla, we could see those showers produced right around lunchtime or so, and it should be pretty brief. Here's our seven-day planning forecast. Look for overcast skies, and again, slight chance of showers here and there. Mountain snow and mixed precipitation there. The big news, of course, tomorrow is those strong, gusty winds. I can't emphasize to batten down the hatches, tie everything down, bring in the patio furniture, and keep an eye on any big trees close to your home tomorrow. Yep. Very important. So that's what it looks like for Walla Walla and Hermiston. So I think um, the weather's not too bad. I'm not too disappointed with these warmer temps for November. Not the warmer bad. temperatures are nice. Not sure about the wind, though. That's going to be the kicker. The wind, yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Stacey. And thank you so much for watching. World News Tonight with David Muir is next. We're back tonight at 6, and you can find the latest anytime on our website, 
at applevalleynewsnow.com.